Hi guys, welcome back to my beauty and lifestyle channel. Today I am going to be talking to you about the month of Ramadan and what a typical day in my life looks like while I'm observing Ramadan. I'm a little nervous about posting this video because I know my faith can be a little controversial, but I'm gonna post it regardless. Anyway, for those of you who don't know, Ramadan is a month in the Islamic calendar and it's most known for its pre-dawn to sunset fasts in which we abstain from food and drink and all delights for that time period. Um, not only does it serve as a cleanse for our bodies, but it's a cleanse for the soul as well. There is a lot of personal development involved in Ramadan which we try to obtain through increased worship, self-reflection, and service to others. Everyone celebrates Ramadan a little differently. I just wanted to interject the way I observe the, the month because I feel like it's a little different than most people and I just wanted to give it some representation. So the way I start Ramadan actually happens before the month. I am a caffeine addict. So the week prior to Ramadan, I um, cut out caffeine completely from my life, cold turkey. The reason being, I don't have the willpower to do a taper, so I just quit it. That's just the way I roll. I usually do it on a day when I'm not working, and the reason being is because I don't want to be withdrawing from caffeine while abstaining from food and water. It's just absolutely miserable. I've done it before. So I usually start this cleanse on days that I'm not working because the withdrawal is miserable. I'm tired, I'm fatigued, I'm irritable. I am found napping anywhere and everywhere. Instead, I try other ways to try and wake up. Um, for instance, going outside. Hey, good morning. Just going out for a walk. Switching up the get out of bed incentive. And then after that week, Ramadan begins. We start the month with something called Sahur, which is the pre-dawn meal. It is the last time of the morning in which we can eat or drink. Good morning, y'all. It's support time, which is the term for the pre-dawn meal. I don't eat a whole lot for this just because I want to get back to bed, but I usually have a Quest bar and I have a couple bottles of this stuff, which are some branch chain amino acids, fruit bunch flavored. It's really good. It just makes me feel hydrated for a good part of the day, so yeah. The rest of the day is spent fasting, obviously, and during that time period there is observance of practices within the Islamic faith. So after the day of fasting is complete, um, we break our fast at sunset. Now it's time to break the fast. The term for that time is iftar. It's tradition to break your fast with dates and water. I also have something light because right after breaking my fast, I like to work out. Uh, during the time when we weren't quarantined, I would have packed my meal and broke my fast in the car right in front of the gym and just popped in and worked out. Now my workouts are a little different, but either way I have to work out right after breaking my fast. Otherwise, I won't work out at all. It's just really important for me to maintain my health during this month. I don't want to lose all the progress that I've made over the past year. So to start up my workout, I usually do some cardio. Today I'm going to be starting with interval training for about 15 to 20 minutes using different variations going up the stairs. After that, I usually do weights, four weights, especially during this time to minimize and save on time and maximize the benefits. I try and work using compound movements in which large muscles and as many muscles I can involve are involved. Exercises that are like this are um, squats, deadlifts, presses, etc. Then I move on to my actual iftar meal. So this is my actual iftar meal post-workout. My Quest protein shake, which is actually kind of nasty, I have to admit. My favorite over-the-counter yogurt, some eggs, Italian-style chicken, and a uh, literal entire raw zucchini. Gordon Ramsay, rate my plates. Honestly, for the first time in my cooking career, yeah, I'm in a kitchen with Muppets. Thank you, sir. Most 
people use iftar as a time to gather with family and friends when not in quarantine because I wanted to prioritize my health I would probably limit that to once a week because I have no willpower around the foods that are normally served during with during iftar but during the quarantine with everything going virtual it has been a little bit easier getting together with people granted I do prefer the in-person iftars finally after night and evening prayers I get to bed and I try to get get to bed early sleep hygiene is really important during this month in addition to the rest of the year it's really important to me to maintain my health during this month so I can get up the next day and do it again every day for the rest of the month. So that is how a typical day during the month of Ramadan looks for me. If you observe Ramadan, I'd like to know what your traditions are during this month. If you don't observe Ramadan, if you have any questions, concerns, you can address them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. And if you didn't, you know what to do. Finally, if you're into goal setting and personal development, I do have another channel dedicated to just that. It's called Living Listed and I'll provide the details in the description box below. Again, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time.